What up my geeks? Jeffrey Powers here from Geekazine and today we are taking a look at New Blue FX Titler Live 4 and on an Intel Nook. And, and what I mean by this is I've actually taken the Titler for Live 4 and taken it off the main machine. I'm very big on making sure that that main machine does not go south during a live stream separating it giving boxes different places to different boxes and things like that and with this i, I can add some automation to it i've got a, a nice little program here for the ipad that's uh, letting me uh do some stream buttons on there so uh, as you can see i've been talking this whole time and it's gone through uh all my twitter handles my you know geekazine think magazine put in geek stuff like that uh the only thing it hasn't done is my merch stuff over at geekazine.com forward slash merch or the patreon page over at geek patreon.com forward slash geekazine or tip me at paypal.me forward slash jeff powers or it hasn't talked about social stuff like this guy right here becky uh, our per guy becky and yeah okay <laughs> Sorry about that, Becky, but you get the idea. Uh, a lot of automation, especially if you're a one man shop doing a live stream, you just, you can't, you have so many cycles, so many different things to think about to, to make it easier and better. It's just so cool. So basically what I'm doing, we use Wirecast here. And of course, if you want to get Wirecast, you go over to geekazine.com forward slash Wirecast and that way you can, from the Mac, for the PC. Okay. And of course we are live over on youtube.com forward slash geekazine and twitch.tv forward slash geekazine. Like, subscribe, comment, hit the bell notification for the next video. And of course, uh, go over to Twitch and get some rocks. The rock program. So you rock with geekazine here. So, and uh, yeah, so basically, let me show you this. We went through all that. Let's, uh, let's go over to the PTZ. Boom, like that. All right, so this is the setup I have right now. I'm gonna raise this just a little bit. There we go. So this is my desktop. I have my stream deck right here. I've got my, well, my mixer is over here, but I've got my mixer on my, uh, on my Fire HD 8 tablet. And uh, so I can mute and, and adjust audio if I need to. And then right here is the Touch Portal, which is an iOS app uh, controlled by software on the PC. They talk back and forth to each other, so it works like the Stream Deck, except I have buttons on my iPad, which is pretty cool. And I can do more buttons than what the Stream Deck can offer. But the Stream Deck is hardware. I, I love the hardware base on that. So I'm figuring out where how I'm going to put this all in, <clears throat> especially if I need more buttons. And I got more buttons. So, so you saw the intro right there. I basically pressed that button and that's, that's what brought it up. So that's through the touch portal. I'll show you that uh, first, but we're talking about Tidler 4 Live. And let's talk about that really quick because this is a great program to for your uh, for your Wirecast, for your uh, OBS, for I believe it's for our OBS, uh, for your VMix, for your TriCaster, uh, being able to give you titles, and you can do it right on the computer. You don't have to have separate computers, but with a little old protocol called NDI, and NDI, there it is, you can actually bring it into your computer and have another machine dedicated for titles. And you want that. When you're, when you're doing the streaming thing, the streaming game, least point of failure, least amount of CPU cycles, you win. So, and that's what I got here. Let me, and, and like I said, I showed you this, I showed you this already, I'll show it again. Um, back here is the Nook, it's an Intel Nook. It's, a, it's an i5. It's nothing special, nothing great. I might, uh, I might update it a little bit later. Uh, but you know, you could get, you could get an i7 if you, if you do a lot of titles, if you're doing like super mega titles, like some of these cool graphics, of uh, world spinning and blood curdling and all that other stuff, then you might want to get a more powerful titler machine. But this one works perfect for here. So of course you can get titler for, let's go over to the page here. You elevate your broadcast as they say. Uh, putting in lower thirds, putting in all that stuff. You saw, you saw my lower thirds go past. 
You saw my merch stuff go past. You saw uh, everything like that. Um, there's four different types. You have the complete, you have the present, you have the social, and you have the sport. Complete is, is $949, but it's well worth it if you're doing lots of titles. Um, but if you need something a little bit less at $449, and like, for instance, if you're doing a lot of sports stuff, and all you need to do or make uh, sports scores, uh, then this is perfect from here. And of course, it shows you the whole thing. And then, of course, you have broadcast, which gives you everything, everything, plus then uh, in, in 4K NDI and SDI key fill for your Blackmagic design or your Aya cards. You can check that out. It's over at newbluefx.com and look on Tidler for Live 4. Uh, great stuff right there. So check that out. But I'm going to show you how to use it. And to do this, uh, we're going over to the Nook. So basically, I run Windows machines. So I do a, uh, a network and I do a simple uh, desk Windows desktop. You can do this in many different ways, but everything needs to be on the same network. It needs to be on the same IP address line. That That's how it works. So there's two programs that I have, well, three programs that I have on this machine. Tidler uh, Live 4. Um, let's, let's bring up the new blue FX. Oh wait, I can't because there's serial numbers involved. So, but basically got the Tyler Live 4. Let, we'll minimize this. I got my Tyler Live 4. I got the Tyler uh, Pro 5 standalone. You cannot see that. Let's bring that over. The Tyler Pro standalone. And I got the Tyler Pro uh, Live standalone. That's This one is one, the one we're using right now. Um, I also have this program for the hotkeys called Touch Portal. And you can, it's, there's a free version and there's a paid version, but let me tell you some, I have yet to figure out how to pay for the version. And I'm hoping that I'll get an email back saying this is what you have to do to get a license. So, um, but it on the page, it doesn't have a click here to buy. I don't know, I'm not sure what's going on there. But anyway, uh, it, I'll use this as long as it works and as long as I have a copy and it's not uh, doing anything like trying to steal all my information. So uh, so I've created some buttons <clears throat> in a 10 by three array, although I don't think these other buttons are gonna work because they're not, I don't have, like I said, I don't have the full version. So I have each button with a hotkey assigned to here. And this controls all of the intro cards. And when I go over to here, the intro cards are here. Uh, I can refresh it just to make sure that everything's good. And then I can bring in my stuff. Now, it's not as much about this as it is about the Tidler Life 4 because you can do so much with this. You can do a lot with this with this program. So let's go back over here. Um, so as I do, I, you create, what you can do is you can create NDI ports. I have two of them. Uh, about a month ago, I did my $50 tablets. Uh, for comparison in which that's what this one is. So basically I would set this up as a separate thing in Wirecast and this would be a separate. And these, so these are both running NDI. So that's one thing you have to be concerned about is the more tabs you have, the more possible NDI options you have. And you don't have to do NDI, you can do AirSend, you can do HDMI, you can do uh, ping sequence and, and a direct to OBS if you use OBS from there. So NDI does not have to be the be all end all for that, but I love NDI because it just, it works. Uh, and uh, not 100% of the time. Last night I did have some problems trying to get this to work, but it was just literally the fact that I didn't have the same version of NDI tools on all the computers. And the latest version, NDI 3.7. So you can check that out. So, so basically you create a tab and you can put in one title or multiple titles. You can have them work in a sequence or you can set them up so they work on their own. So when you hit this, when you hit this button and, and you can hit the play buttons from here, your stuff. Before we do that, we'll also talk about your social pro, which you can hook up to your Twitter, your Facebook, or your YouTube live. And then of course, spreadsheet control, which I can, as you can see with this one, with the uh, with the tablets, I have all the information in here in a CSV file, 
which I can change at any time. So if I don't want tablets anymore, let's say I want to use this for, I don't know, talking about the best steak out there. I can change the pictures to the different uh, places where you can get the steaks and I can talk about the different steaks and I just I have uh, six different uh, six different areas where I can talk about the width, the thickness, the age of the steak, things like that. And, uh, and of course, even a little star thing at the bottom. So, and I could put that all into a spreadsheet, which that I then import right here, which then if I switch on that, as you can see the tablet switching when I go between the different tablets, pretty sweet stuff. There it is. So now you can see about the Amazon fire eight. So this is my main thing. This is what I wanted. It's just basically all those titles. When I do my intros and outros from there, it just goes so I don't have to worry about it. And this is how you do it. So basically you create each title and that's as simple as hitting new or open and you can choose from their library. They got a great library of titles and, and stuff like that, depending on what you purchase for the copy, uh, the sports collection, for example, we'll go in there for a second. And we can see that there's like a little baseball score thing up on top. We have a score, we have different scoring methods and you can change all this. You can bring in the template and then go in the editor and change the colors. Instead of saying visitor and home, you can, you can change that out. And as we go, we can in library, you can also, you can do a lot more. You can create your own from scratch. I've done that in fact. Uh, this title right here and this one right here, it, th this is just basically a graphic that I put on and I, you know, you just go in, you create the graphic, go from there. So this is a little video that I created from, uh, from a template that I used. And, uh, and so I just put that in and said, Hey, I want to run the video. It runs the video. And then each one is assigned a hotkey. That's where the touch portal comes in. So when I need it, I can press on it and it will, it'll move, it'll go, it'll go from there. So, uh, we got the attrib attributes right here for each title. Uh, as you can see, you can assign the hotkey. If there's audio, you can change the audio on it. And, uh, if there's a, if there's a duration, if you want no limit, or if you want like after six seconds, you want it to close out and go to the next one, you can do that. Um, in some cases you might even have some text. Like I think right here, yeah, you have the ability to change the graphic right there and change the text. So I don't have to, if, if I go to the next review, I just type in the name and it shows up here, or I can just do it like that. Click on there and then type in the name right there. So that's pretty sweet. Uh, and, uh, and then just go from there. So basically what I have, as you can see, I have a whole list of titles here. And when it's time to go, I have a hotkey assigned to them and I have the touch portal ready to, uh, to bring in whatever title I want. That makes, that makes this so much easier to create stuff. And even with the social Sam, let's, let's get into this part. So the social pro I have set up on my Twitter account. I just basically have geekazine. I have comments every 50 seconds, but most of the stuff is mine. And I have filtered the profanity and done a safe search. I can include retweets and show all tweets with images. Now we can have some fun with this. So like for instance, uh, on December 15th, 1983, the Alta Vista launches. And of course the Apple, uh, Apple ad first airs, I believe in, in theaters, uh, to test the Apple ad. So we can bring that in. As you can see, I just hit that, that play button and that activated this and I close it out. I already had it in the system. As you can see, it's, it's gray instead of a uh, whiter color. So that means that it's already queued up in the system. So like for the next one, this is from my day in tech history, uh, website over at dayintechhistory.com. If I bring in this one, it's going to need some time to render it. So I'll hit that button. As you can see, it's starting to render the uh the social pro page and once it's done it's going to bring it up 
says on December 14th, 19, uh, what was it? 1994 W3C held their first meeting. And if I want to just get rid of it, you know, I can tap it off or, or, or yeah, I can do it here. Or since I set up the hotkeys, I can do it on my touch portal and go from there. This is all done remotely. This is all done through another machine. So my main machine is just there to help do what I need to do. And to fix that, let's just move over. I've got Wirecast. To do that, all you have to do is set it up. So I'll hit the plus button here. And in here, I'll go to network. And as you can see, I have my two, uh, my two NDI from that desktop and then uh, my PTZ. And then of course, coming from my actual computer because my computer is sending NDI signal to the streaming machine. So people are watching live on YouTube and on Twitch right now. It's so integrated. It's, it's so amazing what you can do with this. And, uh, and like I said, being able to bring that to more than one, bring this back more than one area and keep your main computer running and doing what it needs to do. And that's basically switching between the cameras can't go wrong from there. The stream deck, Elgato stream deck. It's an awesome 15 key, uh, hotkey manager with the touch portal. Um, I'm going to add more hotkeys to it and uh, really excited about that. Uh, but that's basically, that's the new blue FX Tidler Live 4. There's more technical versions or technical videos on how to create titles and things like that. But I wanted to show you that you don't need it on the main computer. You can you use the NDI, have it on another computer. You can bring it in whether you're using Wirecast, whether you're using vMix, whether you're using a TriCaster, it, it has the ability to do that and many other programs, uh, software switching programs out there. By separating it, you're saving yourself on the process. Each computer is dedicated to do something. And this computer, this is a few years, this Nook is a few years old. It's an i5. I don't think it's, it's the highest of strengths of i5s. It's not gonna be the fastest in the world as you saw, but it does the job. You can definitely put in an i Core i9 and run this software through there. Like I said, if you're really getting some high-end uh, uh, recordings and you, you've got these titles that do all these things like people waving as they come in and say, don't forget to watch some show nine o'clock on Thursdays, whatever, you know, titles like you see on TV. And that's pretty cool. So. But anyway, I wanted to show you that that's my setup. That is what I'm doing with uh, Titler Live 4 with uh, with my uh, with my computers and, and live streaming from there. So that was the new blue FX Titler Live 4 on the Intel Nook uh, as a separate machine. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, simply go over to Geekazine, Think Magazine, put in a geek. You got me, as you see, automated. I don't have to touch anything. It's awesome. And of course, you can find me on uh, Facebook, on Instagram, Geekazine. Just search Geekazine. There you are. Pinterest, uh, Geekazine. Or on YouTube.com forward slash Geekazine. Go ahead, like, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell notification for more. And then, of course, Twitch.tv forward slash Geekazine. Thanks a lot for watching. You guys geek out. We'll see you next time uh, uh, for another cool video, another cool review. Take care.